Right, Telly Adi Champs and Thunderbolt 4 or is it 3.1? I don't know. Let's talk about the positives first. Positives are Thunderbolt 4 will come out later this year on Tiger Lake laptops, etc. So all PCs will support it as long as they implement it or should I say can support it and Apple are going to support it. Apple have said yes, we're going to be using Thunderbolt 4 so that is awesome. And so Apple, you owe me some money because that Thunderbolt 3 audio interface that was on sale for the financial year sales, I didn't buy because I didn't know whether Future Max would have Thunderbolt 4. Anyway, now as I said, PCs will be able to have it. Of course, the Surface won't have it because they're numb nuts. Crapping on about security and all this, wank wank. Oh, actually, if you look down there at the bottom, it says required VTD based DMA protection. Now, you could have that enabled before but it wasn't mandatory, so this will be secure out of the box, whereas a Thunderbolt 3 now, you have to have that on already. So when I was thinking about Thunderbolt 4, I was not thinking about this, because this is like 3.1 to me. I was thinking Thunderbolt 4 would be four lanes of PCI 4.0, we're going to have the same bandwidth of eight lanes of PCI 3.0, but no, that's not what's happening, it's still just four lanes of PCI 3. So it's still 40 gigabits per second. That gives you 32 gigabits per second. Of course, you've got separate display lanes, etc. And you can actually drive two 4K displays now rather than one. And actually, they did show with two 4K displays connected and they were also getting full 3000 megabytes per second read and writes with an external SSD. So that's really good. You can have four ports now, four Thunderbolt downstream ports. So you can connect to a dock and have four more whereas you used to only have two, and it has to support power, and also it has to support wake. So you'll be able to wake through the dock. If you have like a keyboard connected to a dock, it'll wake your computer. Also, up to two meter length cables. Now, I've used two meter length cables with Thunderbolt 3, and they haven't been an issue. They're not certified. Now they're certified for two meters, They reckon they're going to go up to 50 metres or 5 metres to start off with and then maybe 50. I don't know where they're getting this 50 from, but 5 metres would be good. But at least now 2 metres is certified. Compatible with USB 4, of course, and everything else. And the thing about USB-C is it's a nightmare, right? Because you get a USB-C on your computer and you think, well... Is it USB 3.1? Is it 3.2? Does it have power delivery? Does it have display port out? Who friggin' knows, right? If you get a Thunderbolt 4 now, you know it does everything. So you don't have to worry, including USB 4. So that is awesome. So that's what I really like about it. It's truly universal. So if you have Thunderbolt 4, everything's going to work in it. You just plug it in and you don't have to worry because I've got laptops that I don't know if they've got power delivery. I don't know if they've got display out. I plug power in. Oh, it's not charging. Or I try and connect the monitor to it and it's like, no, it hasn't got display port out. It just sucks. You just don't know what you're going to get. So of course, all the Thunderbolt 3 stuff will work. Of course, no problem there. External graphics. There's no extra, you know, bandwidth there. It's going to be the same. And let's face it, these days, laptops, if you're talking about laptops, they've got such powerful graphics cards now that really external graphics, unless you can hit both of them at once, is really not an issue here. There you can see here, targeting 5 to 5 metres on the bottom of cable length there. Man, 5 metres is good. 50 metres is just insane. That'll be awesome. And a lot of people ask me, oh, what do you need that for? You need it for fast external storage. I'm not even talking about eGPU. eGPU, who cares, right? And here's the summary. You can read it there. eGPU is the last thing on my mind. It's the docks, right? It's multiple displays. It's 10 gig networking. It's connection to fast storage. And this thing here now can connect to another four Thunderbolt ports if you have a Thunderbolt dock. So it is good in that way. But I really would have hoped that, you know, Thunderbolt 4, it's not a point release would be more than this it would be pci 4.0 but just just how it is i don't think you're putting pci 4.0 in a laptop at the moment so really 
Hopefully Microsoft will adopt it, the numbnuts, it's, you know, it, it's got the protection built in now. You know, the security protection is mandatory now, and it's great that they're coming to Macs, so you don't have to worry Apple Silicon, you're going to have your Thunderbolt devices, so go and buy it. So go and buy a Thunderbolt device like I didn't, because I didn't know what was happening with Apple. And if Apple are using it for Apple Silicon, come on, laptops, you know. AMD, get that in your system. Pay for the licensing. You might think USB 4, well, we don't have to pay for the licensing, but USB 4, you're not going to know. USB 4, USB 3, who knows what it is. You got Thunderbolt, you pay for the certification. Everything you know works with it. You got a Thunderbolt logo on it, I can just buy it. I can use it. With USB 4.0, that might not be the case. You might buy some Thunderbolt device and it might not work. That's why Thunderbolt 4.0 is better in my opinion. Come on laptop manufacturers, more likely, not AMD. Just get some Ryzen systems with some Thunderbolt 4 in it and some decent GPU options. And yeah, AMD for the win there. But anyway, catch you next one guys. Tally ho.